Hey everyone, so here's a question from factorization chapter of class 8 and this is very important like this can come for long answer that is 4 or 5 mark question. The question here is the area of a rectangle is 6a square plus 36a and its width is 36a. Find its length. So they have given two things to us. One is the area and one is the width which is nothing but the breadth they have given. We have to find out the length. So let's write down what we know from the question. So it's given, they have given area of the rectangle, I'm just writing area here, which is 6a square plus 36a. And they have given width, width is nothing but the breadth. So width is equal to 36a. We have to find out the length. Length is unknown to us. We have to find out that. So we're going to use a formula what that is area of rectangle which is length into breadth. So area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth I'm writing it's or you can take length into breadth. So here we're going to substitute it area we know from the question which is 6a square plus 36a into length we don't know and uh, width or breadth is given 36a now since i want only l value i don't want this 36a over here i'm going to transpose this to other side it's in multiplication when you take this to other side it comes in division so from here we can write down 6a square plus 36a upon 36a is equal to L. Now very important thing here is you cannot cancel this 36a and 36a because this 36 in, is in addition with 6a square. If there was a multiplication sign over here in place of addition then you would have cancelled this. But since it is in addition we cannot cancel this numerator and denominator. So we have to factorize the numerator. So how can we factorize? I cannot apply any identities. Uh, so we're going to just take the common factor. So common factor is uh, this 36 can be written as 6 into 6. Yeah, 6 6 is 36. So if I take common, here 1 6 is common, 6 and 6 we can take. And here we have a square and we have 1 a. So we can take 1 6 a outside. Or if it's confusing you, I'll let me just expand this further. I'm going to just expand this for you. So I'm going to solve on this side just for you to clarify how we're getting the answer. So here we have 6a square plus 36a, right? So this is 6 into a into a. And this 36 is nothing but 6 into 6 into a. Now 36 can be written in many ways. I have taken 6 into 6 because 6 is present here. I can take 1 6 outside. That's why. You can write 12 into 3 also. There's no wrong in that. But I want 6 as a common factor. That is why I've taken 6 into 6. Now if you compare here, we have 1 6 and 1 6 common. I'll take 1 6 outside. 1 a and 1 a common. I'll take 1 a outside. Now what is left in first term? This single a. Write down that a. And here one single 6 is present. So plus 6. So this is how we got 6a into a plus 6 if we factorize. So I'm going to write in here this is equal to. So in place of 6a square plus 36a I'm going to write down 6a into a plus 6 upon 36a. I hope you understood how I have written 6a into a plus b. So a plus 6. Now we can cancel here this a and a. Now see 6a is in multiplication so we can cancel them. Now this is 6 ones are and then 6 six are 36. This is equal to length. So here we got a plus 6 upon 6 is equal to L. Again we cannot cancel this 6 and this 6 because the 6 is in addition with A. It's, it's like they are getting adding up here. If it is in multiplication we could have cancelled this. So this is the answer here. Therefore length is equal to A plus 6 upon 6. 
So this was a question. I hope it's clear how we have solved. Now in case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.